right here. Okay, I'm on my way home back from uh, Home Depot. Just picked up some uh, Gorilla Gorilla Glue, Gorilla uh, Epoxy Stick. I'm gonna uh, uh, do a, a new chin mount. Uh, I'm changing my setup ever since I decided to go with a uh, full face uh, mask, a uh, full face, sorry, full face helmet only. I uh, need to change my setup, you know, where I mount the cameras and stuff like that. So I'm gonna mount uh, the front facing camera on the chin, on the chin of uh, my uh, Showy RF uh, 1200. Sorry, the phone just rang and my daughter was uh, was on the other side. You know, whenever I use the camera on the on the phone, I use the phone as a, as my main uh, camera for the vlogging. So whenever somebody calls me, it, it disrupts the video. Anyway, just picked up this epoxy stick. Uh, I did see John uh, on his uh, on his videos. He talks about uh, chin mounts that you can buy. I checked it. It's like thirty five dollars plus shipping probably be $42 I for six dollars I think I could do pretty much the same I don't know somehow I sense that you're calling me a cheap bastard well that's true <laughs> no actually there in some cases I don't mind spending what they're asking for but if it's a stupid little piece of plastic and they're trying to charge me 40 40 something dollars for it I can do it myself I don't mind uh, and I enjoy doing this little stuff so I'm gonna be doing it myself. And besides, I had to find an excuse to go to Home Depot, right? To look around at all the tools. So it's for the glue, yeah. Just walked out to take the bike out and it's nice and nice and sunny. Temperatures are high up. I was gonna take out the bike to do. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Man. Man. Go. He's talking to himself again. Oh, he's got he's got the new the new uh, levers. Oh, there's nothing wrong. He cannot find he cannot find the neutral. Or actually, he's actually saying that he can easily find the neutral. Well, check out his video. Uh, but I will say everything you heard about any comments any bad reviews about the levers unless they totally installed them incorrectly or again I saw his video I saw his video yesterday about those uh, about the flow uh, levers and I think he just came back from uh, his uh, ride review so uh, check out his video check out John's video to see if he's happy with them or not uh, from what I'm hearing he's talking to the camera right now it's, it seems like he, he's, he's enjoying that, let's put it that way. Lunatic. This guy's a lunatic. Pretty much what I did is I took the visor off. Um, so it doesn't get all dirty. And then I taped using electrical tape or I taped this whole area right here, right? This, this whole area right here. And the reason I use tape is because I'm gonna put the, the putty, the epoxy putty on that and then peel it off. And I don't want it to stick of course to the helmet. So uh, I actually taped it all the way to here as well. So. You know, when I stick it on, it won't get uh, everything dirty. Then I, you know, you work the epoxy just as it says on the on the instructions itself. Additionally, I uh, prepared in advance this uh, GoPro mount. Uh, on the back side of it, I actually sanded it down, so it was a bit rough. Then I made some like cuts in it with a uh, with a little knife, so the epoxy will stick and glue. I stuck it onto here and 
then squeeze it on to there and nicely and gently worked uh, the epoxy so it sits uh, really nicely. Let it sit for like 10 minutes. Uh, once it dried and it was hard already, I peeled off uh, the tape, the electrical tape and let this cure for a, you know, a few more minutes, gave it a half an hour, an hour. And then with uh, some sandpaper, shaping it nicely. Sandpaper only on the outer part, of course. As you noticed, I made it uh, stick out a little bit so I get uh, more angles, more options uh, when the helmet is, when the camera is, is mounted. And as you can see, it's fitting really nicely. Paint this black so it's all uh, black one piece instead of the gray. Initially, I was gonna keep it gray because the helmet itself is gray, but I think this whole thing should be black. So I'm using a Sharpie and see uh, what it uh, looks like in the end. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay, this is after one coat. I'm gonna give it another second coat of Sharpie paint. After two, two coats of Sharpie, looking pretty good. Okay, this is the next day my daughter actually used her arts and crafts and painted it for me. Came out really nice. Uh, and then I went ahead and put uh, two-sided, this, this case it's a Gorilla double-sided tape really strong 30 pounds and that's going to be going on the helmet i'll uh, stick it on very soon it should be you know fitting perfectly right here strip this off heat it up so the uh, glue is nice and sticky There you have it. The riding position can be tilted up. So guys, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this uh, do-it-yourself chin mount by Sandy from Holy Shift. Till the next video. Bye-bye.